Hi, I'm Simon Ball. I teach history at the University of Glasgow. I've done that for about the past decade and a half. And I've just written a book about the Mediterranean. And the reason I got interested in the Mediterranean during the Second World War is I'd written another book about British politicians, particularly two, Harold Macmillan and Oliver Littleton, who are sent out by Churchill to rule the Mediterranean. And so I got interested in this whole idea of the unity of the Mediterranean and what the British are trying to do. So I thought what I'd do is I'd write a whole book about that idea of the unity of the Mediterranean. Most of us, we go on holiday, we think of the Mediterranean, it's easy. It's a, it's a concept we don't have to worry about. But in actual fact, the Mediterranean isn't really a unified place. You have to work very, very hard to have a unified Mediterranean. And it doesn't happen very often. And the British tried to do it really from the 1930s through to the end of the 1940s. And one of the reasons why they were so keen on unifying the Mediterranean is that there was somebody else out there who wanted to unify the Mediterranean, and that was Mussolini. And so really the book starts with Mussolini challenging the British in the Mediterranean. The British have a very specific view of the Mediterranean. They see it as a road to somewhere else. You come into the Mediterranean via Gibraltar, you stop at Malta, and you go out by the Suez Canal. Aye, it's a west-east Mediterranean. Mussolini has a completely different idea. He thinks of a north-south Mediterranean. He wants to create what he calls the fourth shore, an African empire. So you'll have Italy, and he wants to dominate places like Albania and perhaps Yugoslavia, and he wants uh, Libya, and in his wildest dreams he wants Egypt and Tunisia. So he wants to unify the Mediterranean north-south. And so Mussolini tries to impose this idea, first in the 1930s by fairly sneaky methods of trying to undermine British power, and then from June 1940, actually a direct challenge, war against the British in the Mediterranean. And that war goes on until 1943, uh, when Mussolini is overthrown and uh, the British are victorious and they symbolise that victory in fact by sending the king to Malta in June 1943 and so there really is this return of the king moment when George VI sails into Malta saying Mediterranean once more British and the Americans are, are less interested and so the, the second half of the book is, is really about how the Brits try and sell the idea of a unified Mediterranean and how the, Med how the Americans take it partly on board uh, but don't buy it completely. In particular uh, a character called James Forrestal who is US Secretary of the Navy and then the first US Secretary of Defence. He's the one American who believes in the Mediterranean and Forrestal fights some vicious political battles in Washington in the 1940s to try and get his idea of the Mediterranean.